is your iPhone really waterproof? Dun, 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 dun. As an iPhone data recovery professional, one thing I see a lot of is water damaged iPhones. And when we call customers to tell them that their data is recovered, what was the problem? Well, you had water damage. A lot of them are surprised to hear that their phone was water damaged at all because aren't these modern iPhones supposed to be waterproof? And sometimes they are. There's a lot of stories out there about some of these phones that have really survived some pretty awesome trips through water, but that leads to a false sense of security. If we go to support.apple.com and we ask, you know, is my phone waterproof, water resistance, what's the real deal? We can look it up. Here's what the website says. It says a rating that will let it survive water as long as it's less than 30 minutes and less than four meters. Now, that's what the Apple website is leading us to believe if we don't read all of the fine print that tells us, you know, it might decrease over time. But it does decrease over time. And let's look at a couple of phones so that you can see what I see every day. Case number one, here's a note that says, I was at the beach and I forgot to take my phone out of my pocket. And it happened uh, in August. I went to the Apple store and they said, you're out of luck. So let's look at this phone and see if you think that water actually made it into this phone. So this was not submerged more than four feet. And just looking at the case of it, look at that, you can see rust. Rust, water got in that phone, even though it was just in a pocket when a wave hit. Let's move to the next one. We've got another one that was sent here for data recovery from another data recovery company. So there's no details other than please recover the data. And if we open it up, this is another iPhone 11 Pro. And you can see again, look at that. This one doesn't even realize that they had any water in the phone at all. It just says it doesn't turn on. I wonder why. <laughs> there's your water damage. Next up, we've got this iPhone 11 Pro Max with a description that this phone was dropped on the beach and it stayed there for two to three weeks and it was exposed to um, sand, rain, and sun and the phone will not turn on. All right, so this one, same thing. It didn't, didn't go underwater. It was on the beach and then they walked by and they found it. And here's what it looks like inside. Just from sitting out on the beach, these phones are not waterproof. Look at that, this is filled with water. And then my last case here, it's not just the iPhone 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max. We've got an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Apple says, 12 Pro Max, you can take it up to six meters, which is really, really deep. You're going to have to take an oxygen tank with you if you want to take your phone that deep for 30 minutes. And let's see what happens if you actually give that a try. Here's your iPhone 12 Pro Max. Look at the water inside this. Jeez. Now this is salt water and salt water tends to be really corrosive when it gets inside these phones. But this is really typical of what we see. So know that your phone really isn't as waterproof as it feels like it is. It's not really even that water resistance if you are unlucky and just in that right combination, water gets into your phone and it looks a lot like this. So don't take your phone to the beach if your data is not backed up. Back it up and then have at it.